Welcome to our expert workshop on C-Quench, arc quenching for medium voltage applications. You out there will receive valuable information around a state-of-the-art solution in the range of proactive arc effects mitigation measures going beyond the safety currently set by the standards. And today, may the force be with us. But as you've seen, I'm surely not Princess Leia, but my name is Michaela Munikes, and I'm happy to be a moderator for this webinar. Some of you might already know me from guided tours on the Siemens booth, be it virtual or live, and from former electrification and automation webinars. And today, I am giving you a virtual tour through this webinar for Sequench. We will start with internal arc faults and their consequences. Then you will receive an introduction to arc quenching in medium voltage systems. You will get to know the system components and their benefits. You will get support for decision making. And surely you will have the chance to address your questions to the expert. And since we receive one question rather often, I take the answer in advance. Yes, we do record the webinar and we will make the recording and the slides available to all registered participants. If you already joined one of our last electrification and automation webinars, you already know the Q&A field in this application. Please type there your question to the presenter and I will be your voice afterwards and ask Karim directly after his presentation. And in addition to me reading aloud your questions, you could also chat with our expert Dejer in the background. During the presentation, he will type answers in the chat. And please be aware of the following limitation. The chat is available in live mode only. And your Q&A field questions will be answered via mail if not managed during the live session. And today we even want to offer and try something new today with you. New for you and new for us, because after Kiran's presentation we will send you a link to an extended Q&A session. We will offer this via MS Teams and I hope you are by now familiar with that kind of a bit, at least. And I hope that you will join us there. There you will have the chance to speak up or just type in your question and I will be again your voice can ask our expert. Talking about experts, let me now introduce our experts. Kerem Bayram is the product manager for air insulated switchgear medium voltage primary. With his extensive experience in medium voltage switchgear, Kirim will shed light on the sequence components and benefits. Deja Tashtelen, our expert in the background, is an electrical engineer. And with his expertise on medium voltage air insulated switchgear, he will take care of the chat and your questions there. Kerem, now we are curious to learn about sequence and we want to dive into arc quenching for medium voltage systems. So, the stage is yours. Thank you, Michelle, for the great introduction. <laughs> I would like to welcome all our attendees. My name is Kerem Bayram. I'm one of the product managers for medium voltage air insulated primary switch gears of Siemens. During today's session, I would like to introduce you a state-of-the-art solution in the range of active arc effects mitigation measures. The occurrence of an internal arc in a well-designed, type-tested, correctly installed and operated switch gear is improbable, but not impossible. The reasons are mostly linked to human interference or environmental causes. Most repeating causes are loose connections, corrosion causing overheating and further escalating to arcing faults, rodents and vermin entering into the equipment or deteriorating insulation in time. Many of you should have seen kind of disaster videos 
showing arcing faults and their consequences over human beings or on the equipment and its environment. What you have seen there is an explosion with a dense light and fire and smoke. What happens inside the equipment remain behind the scenes and actually beyond those what you have seen. Here we are talking of temperatures exceeding the suns, copper in the thermal phase expands by a factor of 60,000 times when it transforms from solid state to plasma formation. The high pressure which can easily rupture eardrums and collapse lungs. The level of sound associated with the pressure which can exceed 160 decibel. Material and molten metal expelling at speeds exceeding 1000 km per hour, fast enough for a shrapnel effect to human body. Accordingly, possible consequences on the equipment, processes and human beings are various. An internal arc classified switchgear can prevent operator injury under normal operating conditions, which is the status where all doors and covers are closed as per IC. But it does not protect the equipment from damage and prevent the occurrence of secondary hazards like pressure wave, sound blast, blinding light, fire, toxicity, contamination, and etc. And coming back to the definition of normal operating conditions, this is not always in line with the necessities of real life, right? Just imagine a simple maneuver where a high voltage door is opened to take the circuit breaker out of the panel for a periodic maintenance or for interchanging it with one of the other feeders. As, and as expected, the bus bar should remain live. This is what an LSC2 type service continuity category offers for. So, what about the safety in such status? In the case of an internal arc, priorities are clear to every of us. First is to protect the personnel as it may endanger their lives. Second is to keep the equipment and related processes available as it may lead to substantial economic losses for the business. System engineers are in a dilemma. They should find the optimum balance in between the best possible coordination settings to minimize the effects of unplanned shutdowns and the best possible safety of personnel. And each usually means sacrificing the other. Within this dilemma, there are some parameters already fixed without room for adjustment. In regard to limiting the arc flash incident energy, there is also not much room to play. Amongst the parameters, it is the fault clearing time we can act on by utilizing fast tripping circuit breakers and early detection of arc via light or pressure sensors. What if we would have the chance to act directly on the arc itself. We have a solution. Catching the arc itself in 5 milliseconds after ignition of the arc, preventing the damage to the equipment due to arc flash, uncompromising safety even when the doors compartment covers are open, which is reusable, a unique feature allowing to restore the service in a very, very short time without the need for replacing the equipment and the switchgear it is located in. You'll be watching a short video now demonstrating this solution in a nutshell. Then I'll be back.
Arc flash faults are the most devastating events in power distribution systems. In well-designed and type-tested switchgear, internal arc faults are unlikely, but not impossible. Mostly, they are linked to human interference or environmental causes. Typical internal arc classified switchgear can prevent operator injury under normal operating conditions. However, it does not protect the equipment from irreparable damage and does not eliminate all the secondary hazards caused by an arc flash. The damage causing power supply and process disturbance may lead to substantial costs of millions of euros. The solution from Siemens is Sequench. It is a reusable active arc effects mitigating system, quenching the internal arc in sub-cycle times. In the event of an internal arc fault, it reduces the system repair time from days and weeks to minutes and hours, resulting in drastically reduced economic losses. Conventional protection methods do not provide fast enough protection capable of securing the assets, the safety of staff, and the availability of the processes. Once an arc fault is detected, Sequench, at almost the same time, consciously closes the main current path of the switchgear to Earth. This creates a three-phase low-impedance parallel path for fault current to flow, thus extinguishing the arc fault right away. The internal arc is quenched in less than five milliseconds after ignition, long before the pressure peak and before the arc can cause any significant damage. It minimizes the damage within the switchgear due to reduced arc energy and pressure. Service can be restored rapidly, leading to minimized service outages. Sequench offers a state-of-the-art level of safety that goes beyond the standards. It minimizes repair costs. The faulty functional unit of the switchgear can be used again. It is reusable, capable of quenching five times without the need for replacement. And it is maintenance free. Sequench offers constant reliability through continuous self-monitoring. It also has the capability to switch for testing and commissioning purposes without the need for replacement. Sequench taking your switchgear to a higher level. It is available as a complete solution for Siemens switchgear. Siemens Sequitch, your natural choice. So, Sequitch, in the case of an internal arc, by consciously closing the live bus bar over the ground bar of the switchgear, it creates a controlled bolted short circuit path for the fault current to flow. This is the main current path of the switchgear and is actually the intended current path for such fault conditions. And it does that within 5 milliseconds after the arc is first ignited. By doing so, it prevents the damaging effects of an arcing fault and allows to re-energize the switchgear in a very short time avoiding time-consuming and costly system repair activities. Words are meaningless when it comes to arcing faults. Here you will watch a video shot from one of our development tests with sequence located in the bus park compartment of a 12 kV lineup. Arc ignition was in the cable compartment of the cubicle in the middle. I need to go back, sorry, once again.
Not that fancy, right? You see nothing because the arc was quenched immediately after it ignites. Primary and secondary hazards are fully avoided. And the result, compared to the one without sequence, for the same fault current. The blackish points on the cable termination coupers were the arc ignition points. No damage has been given to the panel when sequence is used, and the same panel can be re-energized immediately after deleting the root cause of the fault. Arc fault is sensed by an arc flash protection system acting on light and overcurrent, which are the standard characteristics of an arc that make it safely detectable. We not only rely on light, but await for an overcurrent signal, which is above the set current thresholds. When those two indications are available at the same time, only after then sequence is activated. By doing so, nuisance activations due to external disturbances are avoided. Sequence has a unique feature. It is reusable, or we can call it as resettable. So the switching operation in the case of an arcing fault is reversible. Resetting is done from front of the panel without the need for opening any covers or even any doors. It can withstand five consecutive switching operations with the full rated short time withstand current of the switch gear. It also allows for 30 real physical switching operations without load for testing and commissioning purposes. Sequence is located as fixed mounted in the bus bar compartment. That is why only a single sequence per bus section is required and enough for the protection. As of today, sequence is available as a complete integrated solution into the internal arc classified air insulated medium voltage switch gear type NX Air, up to and including 17.5 kV and 50 kA. When it comes to decision making, there is unfortunately no one-fits-all solution. Each business has its own facts and figures. Accordingly, the optimum decision shall be given by you, considering those specifics by not forgetting the priorities we agreed a couple of slides back. First, protect the personnel to the best we can. Second, maximize the availability of the equipment and related connected processes. Then raise these practical but thought-provoking questions to yourself, like, is an unplanned downtime an option for me? How would an arc flash impact my personal and my profitability and my reliability and my corporate image? Go through all these possible consequences, then think for the next step, which one to choose based on your honest answers. Either going for the solutions that have nothing to do with real life, or going for what the standards allows you to do, or going beyond the standards. It is worth mentioning the explicit benefits of the solution. First is the minimized downtimes due to prevention of the damage given to the equipment. This not only leads to increased availability of the processes, but also help eliminate related penalties. Second is elimination of the impacts on the surroundings, which in many cases being underestimated during risk analysis and life cycle related expenditure calculations, but actually takes a big role on the costs after an arcing fault. Overall, it is the reduced OPEX supporting the business. Last but not least is the improved safety, which is beyond the one defined in the standards, as it not only supplies safety under normal operating conditions, but also for maintenance maneuvers. Thank you for your time and attendance. Today has a completely different significance from our topic. Today is the 4th of May, the Star Wars Day. This has not been arranged consciously, but purely a coincidence. But that cannot prevent me from closing the session by relating both topics. May the safety beyond the standards be with you. Now the speech is yours with your questions.